clean energy advocates say investment in renewable energy could build up the state's manufacturing base while continuing West Virginia's legacy as an energy producing state. And they're saying the time is now. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas tells us about some of these new investments and who's behind them. Larissa? Well, there are still nine operating coal plants in West Virginia, but with the cost of renewable energy going down in recent years, it's prompted some West Virginia lawmakers and businesses to take steps to encourage more solar and wind manufacturing, especially as the coal industry continues to decline. Across from this power plant in Nitro, West Virginia, is Revolt Energy, a solar energy construction company. It's where you could say the new and the old way of energy production meet. I really think the dam is broken on renewable energy, particularly solar here in West Virginia. Zach Drennan is the head of solar operations and says business owners are starting to realize the savings they can make by using solar energy to offset their utility bills. People are just on the cusp of realizing this, and so we're seeing a huge uh, uptick in demand. Other renewable energy developments in the state that are currently in the works is the Raleigh Solar Farm in Raleigh County, which will reportedly generate electricity for 16,000 homes. The Toyota plant in Buffalo will also become the state's largest solar project, spanning six acres. Some of the fastest paced jobs in the country right now are renewable jobs from solar to wind, and it's just something West Virginia kind of needs to just look forward to. Delegate Kayla Young of Kanawha County is one of the voices at the Capitol who is pushing for more energy innovation in the state. She helped pass a bill that allows residents to lease solar energy at their homes. Still, she says old ties to the coal industry sometimes get in the way. So we had a bill to work on the coal communities and help coal miners. And, you know, we also have black lung bills every year to help coal miners and their families. And those bills don't go anywhere because the industry pushes back so hard. Companies like AEP made commitments to significantly reduce their carbon emissions. And both Drennan and Young say they don't want West Virginia to be left behind. Sure, we're not saying close the coal mines tomorrow, get rid of all these jobs. We don't want to do that. We want to do something that's a, that's a just smooth transition. And Revolt Energy says they expect to double in size this year. At the Digital Desk, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.